This is what a $92,000 a year income in Jacksonville, North Carolina house looks like to somebody who lives minim minimalistically. That's my son's room, he's sleeping. As you can see from that tour, our house is very empty. We only have things that we use, and the things that we use are actually kind of old and not really up to probably the standard that some people think they would be. Our kitchen table, hand me down for my grandma. Our two kitchen chairs, hand me downs. Didn't pay anything for them. Great table, use it all the time. Our couch, use that every day. Um, everything in our kitchen we use, it's very empty. My piano, I use, I love it. Um, electronic piano, it's a roll-in, costs like 500 bucks, great. Um, TV, use that every day. Our bed, I have used that every day. Had that bed since 2012. Um, no issues. So in my opinion, $92,000 a year gross is a lot of money. Um, and it's, if you live appropriately, you can save a ton of that. So currently me and my wife rent um, $1,000 a month. And on the I get paid um, two times a month around the 1st and 15th. And on the paychecks where I have to pay rent, so $1,000 is automatically taken out of that paycheck, I'm still able to save about $1,000. And then on the paychecks where I don't have to pay rent, I end up saving about two to $2,000 to $2,500 out of that paycheck. So the, mo the majority of that paycheck. So, and that's, that's money that's actually paid to me. I ha also have $1,000 a month that's automatically contributed to my Roth um, 401k. So that's a thousand dollars I don't see automatically, but I'm just talking about the money that gets paid to me. I'm able to save about three, three thousand, three five hundred dollars a month, um, and that goes into my money market account um, or my regular savings. So this isn't only because we like to save money. Um, me and my wife have been transient for like the last four years, so we've moved I think three times. So we don't like to, we haven't accumulated a lot of things because of that, because we do our moves ourselves, which is a pain in the butt, right? So we had a ton of stuff, it would be hard to move, blah, blah, blah. Another reason, um, it's like, well, if I'm saving all this money, why aren't I investing it or putting it in um, real estate or something? Uh, the reason why is because I'm saving up for a, a big juicy down payment on the first house that we buy. The next place we move, um, we're gonna live, hopefully live there for a really long time and we're gonna buy our house. And I hope to have it paid off in less than 10 years. So saving up for a big down payment. Um, I'm at about 70 right now. Hopefully in the next four to five months, I'll be closer to 80. So that's that's at least uh, 20, that's a, that's a big down payment on the house that we wanna buy. 
So that's another reason why we live like we do and I really <laughs> like saving money in liquid form. So what's the ultimate point of this video? The point is, is that if you live smart and only buy things that you need and buy them once and then don't buy the same thing again until it wears out or breaks, um, you're going to be able to save a lot of money. So I guess as long as you don't fill your house with a bunch of shit, that you may or may not need, like furniture may or may not use, um, you should be able to save a ton of money. And that's really, living within your means is really kind of the first step you gotta take to be financially free and wealthy. Oh yeah, and I should mention that we have everything we want, we're not depriving ourselves, we just don't believe in having a bunch of crap that we don't really want, that society says that we need to please other people. So, just wanna throw that out there. That's my video for today. Live smarter, live simpler, live with more money. USMC Saxoki. See you next time.